artists, today we are going to do a weaving art project. I want you to see if your parents have any old ribbon laying around the house. Because today we are going to use pieces of ribbon and a black sheet of paper in order to create this ribbon weaving project. Okay, so today we are going to begin our ribbon weaving project with a sheet of black paper. I would like for you to take your sheet of black paper and I would like for you to have it horizontal or long ways rather than vertical. So I want it like this, horizontal long ways. You're going to take your paper and you're gonna fold it in half. Make sure to match up the edges of your paper. Hold it down and now you're gonna fold it in half. So now you have a black sheet of paper that is folded in half. Now I would like you to take your black sheet of paper and I would like you to find the creased edge. This is my creased edge, not this open edge where this crease edge is. So this is my creased edge, so take it. And I would like you to take your ruler and put it on top of the creased edge. Now make sure, double check, that your ruler is on top of where you folded your paper in half. It's on the creased edge. Make sure it's not on this open edge. So take your ruler, put it on top of the creased edge. With your pencil, you are going to make a marking every inch. So you're gonna make a little mark on top of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So every inch you're going to make a pencil marking. Our paper is twelve inches long. And you're going to make a marking on top. So again on the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. After you do that, put your ruler to the side. You can put your pencil down. I would like you to grab a pair of scissors. With our scissors, starting from the crease edge where we folded, we are going to cut up on each of our markings, but we are not going to cut all the way up or else we'll just cut off our paper. Instead, we need to stop about an inch from the top. So watch, I'm gonna start here. Hey Lucy. I'm gonna cut up, I'm gonna try to cut in a straight line, and I am going to stop. About one inch from the top, you need to stop. Now I'm gonna go to my next marking, I'm gonna cut up as straight as I can. And now I'm going to stop right there, about an inch from the top. So go ahead and continue to do that with all of your markings. And you're gonna stop right there, one inch from the top. Do not cut all the way up. Make sure each time that you're starting to cut where the folded edge is. That's very, very important in this project.
Okay. So once you're done cutting all of your pencil markings, you can put your scissors down. When you open your paper up, it's going to look like this, where you have these openings. So now the next step is that you are going to have ribbon at your tables. You are going to cut the ribbon so it's long enough to be woven through our paper. Ms. Schumacher already pre-cut my ribbon, but you might have to use your scissors and cut it to make sure that it's long enough. With your ribbon, you can choose any colors or patterns that you would like. You can use all the same ribbon. You can use a different ribbon each time. It's up to you. What you're going to do with the ribbon is you are going to take it and you are going to start under like this. And now if I go under this black, strip, I go over the next one. So my ribbon is under this black strip and it's gonna be over. And now I go under this black strip and then I go over the next, under this black strip, over. So I'm just weaving it through, over, under, over, under, until I get all the way through and now I was able to weave my very first piece of ribbon. So go ahead and stop and look at Ms. Schumacher's example. I started under this black stripe. So then I was over this black stripe. Under this black stripe, when it's under, you cannot see the ribbon. When it's over, you can see it. So I can't see it, I can see it. I can't see it, I can see it under, over, under, over, all the way through. It's really easy to make a, a mistake and go over two black stripes or under two. So you have to check your work each time you put a ribbon through. Now when you take your next ribbon, so let's say I, t I take this purple, if I started under on this ribbon, I wanna do the opposite with my next ribbon. So now I wanna start over the black. So now I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna go over this black and then under. So it's the opposite of my ribbon next to it. And now I'm gonna go, oopsies. I dropped my ribbon. Okay, so I'm gonna go over first because this ribbon was under. Now I'm gonna go under this next strip because this ribbon was over and I'm gonna continue weaving it through over, under. And it's essentially gonna create like a checkerboard pattern when we're all done because each ribbon is going to be the opposite of the one next to it. Okay, so now I was able to weave my second ribbon. So as you can see, I went over, under, over, under, over, under. I basically did the opposite of my first ribbon. Now when I take my next ribbon, I, again, I'm gonna do the opposite of my purple ribbon now. So my purple ribbon is starting over, so I'm gonna go under. See how I started under and I go over, under, so now it's gonna be the same as my first ribbon. 
once you get the hang of weaving, it's very easy. It just kind of takes some getting used to at first. Okay, so now I have my three ribbons. So now I'm gonna go ahead and choose another ribbon. Now I'm gonna start over with this ribbon. So now I have four ribbons. And so you're gonna go ahead and continue weaving ribbon until you fill up your entire paper. If you turn your paper over, you can check your work. It's very easy to check your work because there should be a checkered pattern where it's black, ribbon, black, ribbon, ribbon, black, ribbon, black, like that. And if you don't mind stopping right now, if everyone can go ahead and stop where they're at, turn their paper over. Go ahead and take your pencil and write your name on the back corner, just so I make sure everyone's name is on their project. After you write your name, go ahead and turn it back over and continue weaving until you fill up your entire black paper. That's how you do this ribbon weaving project.